So this is the battery we replaced. And I know the comment section lit up and said, you should get an active balancer, you quit. Look, we got an active balancer. I think, oh, it's not plugged in. Oh, that makes me look heaps better. My brother, my brother read the comment section and went out and bought a whole heap of active balancers. Um, now there's just active balancers everywhere. So let's grab this battery, which has, are you manually charging this one with? I'm mainly charging those four cells with that charger. That's a lithium charger, okay, yep. Lithium charger on lithium, so it's at 75, 75%. Yep. And I'm just charging those four. So the jumper cable is just to bridge those two. Oh, okay, yep, yep. I've taken off. So the battery I built last week badly, according to the internet, we're pulling apart and putting different batteries in it. Yeah, we're gonna take out the Eve cell and put in GFB cells. So these are the GFB cells that we had in there, so they fit better. Yeah. Excellent. Let's do some more work. Okay, we've got some different bus bars to try and address the issue with the galvanic corrosion. That's a new thing I had to Google it. Thank you very much, comment section. Some new nuts and some new batteries. Oh, and uh, we got one mil uh, fiberglass sheet um, and rubber. Where's rubber? Seems like a shame to do this again, but I think the cells will fit better in there. Um, if the differences are the GFB cells, which are these ones here, and then these ones are EVE cells. Shorter in both directions, but let's change out these cells and see what it looks like. And just like that, I get to start this process again. If anybody's wondering how strong this box is, uh, I figured I'd probably try and bend these side plates in a little bit. I stood on them. This is safe. Try this at home, kids. Don't try this at home, kids. That's, that, that's a better part of 100 Aussie kilos. And I don't think it bent it back. So, she's quite strong. Oh no, it straightened it out. One drawback uh, to this new plan is the white cell holders are slightly wider. So this is without, without any compression or anything like that. We've got just under 45 millimeters. I really do wish I had a different sort of tape measure to do this. These ones are all joined up. So we've got about 49, 49 or 50 millimeters because there's this slight gap. There's this little gap between each of the cells with these cell holders. So we're going to get 1.5 millimeter rubber, put them in between the cells. And hopefully that 1.5 millimeter is firm rubber. It's not this stuff that I used last time that you all laughed at me for. Um, it'll space it out nicely within the box. And then that um, fiberglass sheeting, which apparently cost $150 for that sheet, will go either end and, and, and on the sides to, to box it all in. We'll have rubber, three millimeter rubber mat on the bottom and then another three millimeter sheet of rubber mat on the top. And that's just to stop anything from bouncing down the road when we finalize all these plans. I think what we'll do is if you have a look at these uh, Orient power batteries, they've got a bar all the way down the middle. We can drill a hole here and drill a hole here and we can put bars in and that will secure them down really, really nicely.
Okay, Internet, we're here trying hard to please you and make the best of a situation that we've got. Uh, now, Big Wee Batteries up in Queensland, up at Springwood, had the correct, well, didn't have the correct um, foam between the cells tape stuff. So what we've done, we've improvised a little bit. We've got this tape here, and it's like, it seems like it's some sort of fiberglass tape. It's very, very strong. Um, we've wrapped two bands around it. So we've around there twice and around there twice. And then between, we've got some rubber at the bottom only. And at the top, that's the correct spacing for these bus bars. So we've got air coming out. We've got, you can sort of see there, we've got air all the way through the cells. So they cool a little bit, but we've also got the anti-vibration and the stability of actually having a little bit of rubber there spacing at the bottom. Let me know if we did good internet. We certainly tried. Gotta admit, that actually looks good. Let's throw some batteries in it. At this point, I was just test fitting the batteries, seeing how they fitted in there, and found that the rubber mat on the bottom made it very, very hard to maneuver stuff around. Frustration combined with uh, a few missing components. I had to go for a, a 200 kilometer drive there and back to Big Wee Batteries to pick up some more bus bars. Uh, but we got there in the end, we got there in the end. And thank you very much for my Instagram and Facebook followers for pointing out that I screwed up the battery configuration. Can you see it? Do you like the black? I think the black looks good. My brother decided it should look black and it looks very internet-y. Well, after many hundreds of dollars oi you mean thousands thousands of dollars uh replacing all the batteries so they fit in there a little bit better we've got the um fiberglass paper on the outside uh we've got uh, one in the middle we've got some rubber to go underneath there i haven't put that in yet we've got rubber down each side at the bottom yeah can you see that internet can you see that there's rubber down there all the sides so it can't geographically move too much in that box. Did we do better? Internet, is that better? Is that better than those bus bars and those cells that didn't fit properly? Anyway, tubers, thank you very much for tuning in. And there's a very good chance I'll see you on another one soon when you tell me I've done this one wrong as well. Oh, I'll give this a bit of a help along in the world. Cables look so messy.